All right, here, yeah, folks, a very good morning here now. We're going to have a change to Operation Magpie. We're going to change the way we're going to do it. I've got my uh, the grabber thing. Oh, hello, wood pigeon. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, take the money off the wall up here and we're going to put it onto the actual bit of garden, a bit of lawn behind the wall here because that's where the magpies tend to to hang about. Now then, let's see if we can, first of all, get the money down. I can't remember where I put it now, hang on. Okay, I've got some of it back, folks. Hang on. There's ten pence of it back. And there was a penny just there. All right, there we go. And I've also got a twenty pence piece. Right. So what I'm going to do, folks, is uh, I'm, I'm a couple of pence down because I, I couldn't find the two pence piece up there. So what we're going to do though is just throw the money over the wall there onto the, the lawn, that's the old pensioner's lawn there. And hopefully, because the magpies like sort of stalking around there, they always see them walking up and down there, they might notice these. So, over the wall, they go. Here we go, folks. Right, they're over. Right. Operation Magpie, part two. Let's see what happens here, right. Well, the only thing is, folks, is that I don't think I threw it far enough over the wall so I can see it. I think I just threw it over there and it just landed in the, ah, oh, damn it, in the shrubbery. Right, okay. Ah, oh, that's a nuisance. Right, might have to get some more money and just actually give it a, a long, a good hard throw. Right, here's, here's another 10 pence. We'll try that. Right, so it's Operation Magpie part two, part two. So I've got, uh, another 21 pence and this time I'm going to get a really good throw over there. Uh, I'm quite feeble at throwing because my shoulder's really sore but we'll give it a good launch over and uh, hopefully this time we'll be able to see it. So here we go. Well that's it, it's gone over. We've done it. It's in operation. Part two of the operation, the original operation, is back in operation. Oh, folks, I'm just having a look um, and I can't I can't see the other coins either, but they'll be there somewhere. So far, so far this operation has cost me just about, what, 50 pence? What was that? That was, um, there's slightly coins on the wall there, I can see. What's that? Like 24 pence on the wall there. And uh, 30, 34, 44, 46 pence, I believe this operation has cost me so far, <laughs> with, uh, with no results. But as I said, hopefully with the uh, the uh, the COVID interest, they will pad around and they will come across the silver and the copper that's down there. Let's hope so. Got a bit of random hair sticking up here today for some reason. <laughs> All right, folks, well, this is it, the part three of the uh, the Operation Magpie. Now, I've been looking out my window this morning, and I've noticed they all like hanging around down here at this guy's table and uh, sort of chair area right here, just this area here. So what I'll do is I'll just, they don't seem to be here at the moment. So I'll, I'll throw the, I've got 20 pens now. I'm going to throw it through there, just behind behind that table, hopefully. And uh, th they've got to see it now. They've got to, right? Here we go. Right there it is. It's in. It's beside the beside the chairs, man. Right. Let's get in. Somebody's alarm's going off, by the way. Right. 
Folks, it is part three of Operation Magpie. We're trying desperate tactics now. Just make sure I've got my key to close up here. Right. Yeah. We're, we're using tin foil, the shiniest of shiny stuff. Now, where can I put this to sort of attract the birds? Let me think. Let me just have a little think. Where can I? I'll scrunch it into a into a, uh, a ball, or will I will I hang it? Will I maybe hang it from here? Just like this, sort of, just, just hang it and see. But then the magpies won't see it from over there, will they? Now, it might blow away as well. That's the only thing. Right, folks, mm. I'm just thinking there's Spiz HQ just up there. That's Spiz HQ there. So if I just wrap this bit of tin foil around here, like this, how's that? Now, surely the magpies will. Well, look at that, and I'll investigate that. That's that's for sure. I think my money's still down there. Yes, it's cost me 40, 50 odd pence this this operation, and I had a bit of tin foil. I had an extra two pence onto the whole thing. Right, we'll see what happens anyway. Right, now, folks, when I was out there, I just went to my work, the bingo, to see what was going on. So I got a free couple of bottles of coke, but um, they reckon it won't be till the 23rd of July. 23rd of this month or maybe even into August before we get to open but it's uh, such a bummer just having a but it's good seeing seeing Jim the manager and Christine the uh, the under manager she's a great wee thing I love her she's good so yeah we just have to sort of wait and see what goes on but anyway um, now listen folks I'm, I'm really sorry if this uh, if if you're not into bird watching or into sort of treasure hunting, anything like that, then I'm sorry, this must be terribly boring for you. This magpies and the birds and talking about the birds and things must be terribly boring for you. So I do apologise in advance uh, for that. But hopefully we'll be back on track again soon. And with some, uh, some decent content, folks. I seem to just run out of... Well, not places to go, so much more just the... The will, the will to go, the, the, this air of lethargy has sort of just descended upon me, that, uh, like a wet duvet of just lethargicness. You know, you just can't be bothered doing anything. It's terrible. I think it's, I think it's affected the whole nation, not just me. Um, I mean, just can't be bothered going out and doing anything. It's just you got to lie there watching your iPad, man. You know, it's just it's turned us all into zombies. So anyway, we'll see what. Uh, She's got to save herself on Friday. Boris announces uh, his intentions on Thursday. Hopefully they'll increase the, uh, or decrease the, the gap from uh, two metres to one metre. <laughs> As if that's, you know, so hopefully that, that's to scale this. Hopefully they'll, they'll do that, folks. So, uh, but I'm just watching to see what's going on down here. But nothing seems to be happening with the, the, the tin foil at the moment. So, yeah, once again, apologies if you are bored by the whole magpie bird thing sorry folks i know but uh you know i'm stuck in here as well trying my best to i mean I'm, I, I quite i just I want the birds to pick up the, why won't the why won't the magpies go to the silver thing surely that's i mean that's an urban myth then obviously isn't it? i have dispelled an urban myth that magpies don't pick up silver things or like shiny things for example so i dribbled oh my god i can't believe i dribbled with excitement to talk about magpies um right yeah Okay. Yeah, right, come on, let's, let's go and do something. Yeah, let's go down and lie down on bed and watch something on the iPad. Yeah, come on. Do the start. The postie's been, folks. Yes, the postie has been. There's a bit of interest for us now. It's uh, something 
round and solid. Look, I wonder what this could be. Oh, I think I know. It's a fidget toy, man. It's a fidget toy. Just as well, Rosie's not here. If she had heard that coming to the post, she'd have gone mental. So you spend any money again on fidget toys? Oh, right, okay, there we go. It's a black one. I thought I'd ordered a, a gold one, was it? A silver? I can't remember. Right, so this is it. There it is, folks. Now, it's actually, a, it's, it's like one of these concentric circle things, right? Hang on, I'll put it down here. And I'll show you then, what it does. When you do this, it goes sort of weird with its cons Wow, look at that. Those concentric circles. To the American light. Actually, maybe better if I did it slower. There we go, how's that? That's better, you get to see it more. Sort of. Like a walnut whip. And you do it the other way, look. Oh, it's weird that way, man. <laughs> yeah, so it's basically a, an office toy. I think it's actually better that way for some reason. Yeah, there you go. Right, well, there it is, folks. And I said, there's only. Really, you can't really. Oh, you can't play it. Can you play with that in your hand? No, you can't. I think you have to put it down to, to sort of play with that. That's the only thing. Does it come apart or anything? No. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought you could probably play with it in your hand, but you can't. You have to you have to sort of put it down and and spin it and watch those concentric circles. It's quite. It's actually quite a hypnotic. Thing, man. I think it would be better if I got a silver one. I thought I did order a silver one. It's actually fantastic. It's fascinating. It really is. Yeah, well, so it's like it's, <laughs> it's like it's got its own will. It's like it's moving. Ah, it's, that's weird, man. And there it goes. And the other way. Makes a good noise, though. I wonder how long it can spin for on its own. Yeah. It's got this just like little disc sort of thing. This there. Right, that's it then. Fun and game's over. That was £3.99. I thought, I honestly thought you could play with it in your hand, man, but that's disappointing. Well, you could play, still play with it in your hand, but it's just, you, know, you can sort of quick the disc about, but not got much playability, that's the only thing, yeah. Um, so for an office toy, yeah, for an office toy, I'll give it a, a good 8 out of 10. That's quite an unusual thing. Uh, but as a flex, as a fidget toy, it's not really a fidget toy at all, man. It's, um, it only gets a 3 out of 10 for a fidget toy. 3, so a 3 out of 10, and what else do I say? Do I say a 7 out of 10 for an office toy? No, yeah, because you can't, you just spin it and say... You know, you get your office genius to come in or you interview you and you say, yeah, sit down there, look, look at this. Wow, look at that, man. Oh, wow, yeah, that's groovy, mate. Yeah. So, what do you think of the company? The company is great. What time do, you know, you get hypnotised by this disc. This is the future of interviewing people. You get hypnotised and they just make you watch this thing and you get hypnotised. And you think the company is the be-all and end-all, and I will do everything for the company. Yes, I will. I will work seven days a week for no pay. Yes, absolutely. You know, that kind of thing. Right. Well, yes, you know, I'm, I'm quite... I, I mean, I love stuff like this. I do. I actually really, really enjoy stuff like this. If what about if they made a big one? What if they made a massive one like this? Well, not a massive one, just a sort of, you know... A, a, a human sized one so we could all just spin it and, and have a look at it that'd be a pretty good man wouldn't it or even one that went up to your knees so you could spin them and, and watch them from above yeah that'd be quite good okay i've had three minutes worth of fun out of that there we go thank you
somebody went past me in a car today, by the way, at uh, just opposite Baines in Douglasfield. Some, it was like a, an Asian chap stuck his head out of the car and went, Hi, Jag! So if that was you then, hello there to you, whoever you are. I don't know, I can't... Do I know? I, don't, I, don't, I, I probably do recognise you if, if you said your name and that, but... Uh, so thank you anyway for sticking out of the car and saying hello. It made me feel famous for five seconds. It was great. Thank you for that. Brilliant. Right. Right, well, I still haven't managed to do this puzzle. It's uh, That's been, what, a month now at least since I've got it. I mean, I haven't. I've been playing with it maybe, what, five minutes a day sort of thing, but it just, it just doesn't seem to want to reveal the answer. Maybe I should send it to that chap, Chris Ramsey, the, the puzzle solver. He normally manages to solve puzzles, but this one is... A particular nefarious breed of wired nightmarishness. Goodness me. It's like it's come from the mind of Hieronymus Bosch, this thing. I mean, look at it. It's like a torture thing. It's certainly torturing my mind. I mean, give it its due. It's a really good puzzle, I must say. It is a, a well designed. I mean, why is it in the shape of that? Why has it got the pyramid shape in this sort of thing here? Why is that? Oh, seagull alert. I hear seagulls. As soon as I hear magpies, that's it, folks. I'm off. If I hear magpies, then I'm off to the... Oh, what have you done with the binos? Oh, no. Oh, hang on. Right, can you see the, uh, the silver bit there? It is there, folks. Right in the middle of your picture, right now, there it is. So we're just waiting on magpies coming to have a look at that. Alexa, are magpies attracted to shiny things? Here's something I found on the web. According to Cambridge.org, magpies are attracted to small, shiny objects, which they carry away to their nests. All right, thanks for that. Right, see, folks. According to Alexa, then it's uh, it's true. It's true. This um, this shiny mm. shiny Alexa. So it's true what, that magpies collect shiny things. Then, yeah. Mm. Alexa, it's Jack here. Do magpies collect shiny things? Sorry, I'm not sure. Well, you were sure a minute ago, Alexa. Are you playing? Are you playing hard to get? Sorry, I'm not sure. Okay, Alexa. Where would I get a lollipop T-shirt for about uh, three or four pounds at H and M? Sorry, I don't know that. God, you're not very good, man, are you? Right, Alexa. Where can I buy um, some quarantine masks? Sorry, I don't know that. God, you have a stupid... Alexa, what's six times four? Six times four is 24. Right, you know that then. Right, OK. All right, Alexa. Play some stuff by uh, Sex Pistols, could you? Alexa. Play some stuff by Hawkwind then. Shuffling songs by Hawkwind on Amazon Music. Thank you. <laughs> 